Hi everyone, it's Deborah. I'm in Key West and I'm still a little sick. This is the second video I've had to do because the first one my daughter said it sounded like I was high, but I'm not. If I'm high on anything, it would be on this right here. And the VIX, the VIX has pretty much saved me the last couple days. Uh, I don't have COVID, I tested and I don't, it's negative. Um, so I got a new ring light and um, so I'm testing it with my new little remote. And I did a TikTok today and I had 3000 likes, my first live one, which is kind of cool. Um, my daughter's doing a whole lot better mentally and, and physically. She was sick for over 30 some days. I mean, it's awful, it's awful. Um, now I remember when I was younger, I would get, um, seasonal affective disorder. That's when, um, when I was young married, I would get very depressed during the, uh, winter months as a young mother. Uh, but I don't do that. I don't have that anymore. I guess because I winter in the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah. So... I um I just checked my bank account and my I gave my brother six hundred dollars to help with his electricity bill, which is kind of ironic because I haven't even been there but maybe two weeks. <laughs> Plus I, you know, help around his house with the dogs and the dishes and stuff. But um yeah, so I have decided not to commit to a house because it's just too much for me right now. It's not a buyer's market. The, 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 the weather's crazy. A tornado warning came through here today and my daughter was caught right in it. And thank God she had not gone too far on her scooter. She was able to turn around, but she saw some things that scared her a lot. So yeah, a tornado warning. And it's supposed to be 60 degrees here. I've never seen it that chilly here. Uh, that's why I got a jacket on. Um, I did go out yesterday, but I did not enjoy myself. I was still too sick. Um, food doesn't taste so good to me. Uh, I wanted a beer, a cold beer, and I didn't even drink it. I just gave it to her. Um, so, like I said, I got this book, and it's really silly because all it means is that if you want to do something and you keep talking yourself out of it, just count down five, four, three, two, one, and get, you know, make the decision. <laughs> I don't know. I guess maybe I need to read it a little bit more in depth. But, um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I heard uh, in Fort Myers a tornado went through and messed up. A lot in Florida so I am near the safe harbor marina and um, it was a beautiful marina yesterday if you haven't seen the boat video of the treasure boat go and look at it the boats are phenomenal oh, they're just gorgeous people have made little extensions of their houseboat or their yacht by making a little garden and um, so maybe I can venture out tomorrow. Now tomorrow's a holiday. And uh, so I am missing my friends. I'm missing my friend who just passed, my brother's wife. Um, I'm missing her. I can't believe that she's gone. And uh, so snow is hitting the East Coast badly. It's snowing everywhere. I am so glad that I made the... Uh, decision to come here and help my daughter. Something just told me, let everything else go, piss off anybody I have to piss off. But uh, yeah, my brother was quite surprised that I had left at 4 a.m. Yeah, but I knew what I needed to do as a mother. You never keep your mo a mother from her children, even if they're adult children, right? So, um, yeah. 
And uh, I guess there's nothing else. Oh, I did see a huge ass lizard yesterday. It was like this long. It's in the video with the boats. And um, I wanted to talk a little bit today about um, why I don't have a boyfriend, okay? The biggest reason is that I'm flip-flopping countries, okay? And um, it's hard to date when you don't know where you're going to be living at next week, okay? That is one of the biggest reasons. Uh, I stopped dating when I was on Colonial Beach because the the gene pool there was a non-existent um and i quit my job sold my house so i'm like in flux i don't know where i'm going to be living so you see it's very hard to date now even when i did was stable and i was at a place for five years even before that i lived in tappahannock for f four and a half years um the dates that I went on, it seems like something happened at each date that just turned me off. Uh, it was so many various reasons. Like one guy brought a gun. Uh, one guy came high. Um, one guy you know, came with Crocs on and I had stilettos on. I mean, it's always something that kept me from developing a relationship with the guy. I, I have been in two somewhat serious relationship since my divorce and uh, I think the biggest reasons were they were stingy with their money I I, I when I was married um, I mean I had money and I was able to do nice things so being in new relationships with uh, these two fellas was eye-opening because they were extremely frugal uh, and I found out it's because most of the time that they said I was getting more in my alimony than they were making at their job. And here they're in their 50s, but uh, I don't get alimony anymore. I only got it for a very short time. And of course, my ex is married now. For some reason, you guys think that uh, my that my sex life with him was not very good. It was wonderful. That was the problem. It wasn't enough. <laughs> yeah, he had no trouble in the bedroom, people. So get that out of your mind, okay? Um, but the two guys that I did have a relationship with, one of them wouldn't spend 67 cents on a washcloth for me. Yeah, but he was spending thirty and 40000 sometimes 60000 on motorcycles and race cars. You see how something just ain't right there. And then... Um, Let's see, the, the, the other guy, um, uh, let's see, he, um, he had a hard time, he was the kind of guy that when he took me out to dinner, you better order the cheapest thing on the menu, which I always did anyway, but he would look at the bill like, oh, it was like a thousand dollars and it wasn't, it was maybe 30 at the most, but yeah, they were just, um, I think they've always had trouble difficulties with their uh finances and maybe that's why they were very careful which i admire that in a guy that that watches his credit rating and everything but um yeah so we'll just get off that subject but it just seems like every date i went on something horrid was going on that um that they did something despicable that just irritated me to the point where I just didn't, I said, that's it. That's it. You know, it, it's just so hard to find a guy that um, genuinely knows how to treat a lady. And I blame that on the parents because I, my son, I raised him to be a gentleman and, um, he knows how to treat a lady. I mean, the four months he lived with me, he bought his girlfriend flowers at least once a week. He bought her really nice gifts and uh, fixed her dinner, you know, combed her hair, gave her a massage. I mean, that's the way I raised my son. But you know, the whole time I was with these other two guys, not one of them gave me a massage none of them but i gave them massages right not one of them um did that for me and i don't think any of them they might have 
bought me a gift at Christmas, but I also spent the same amount on them at Christmas. But um, yeah, I, I do think I did a good job raising my son because he treated his, uh, even when he was married, treated his wife. He brought her flowers all the time, you know. But I do believe, I blame the parents, I really do. So uh, yeah, it just seems I've just not been lucky in love. Um, I just haven't. Something's always a little off. And uh, so yeah, I'm not committing to a house now. I'm just gonna live wherever I can that is the most inexpensive. I don't wanna commit to electric bill, Wi-Fi, house insurance. Um, I'm enjoying just being a free spirit and I'll be damned if anybody's gonna deny me that. Uh, I mean, who knows? I may not even be here next year. Who knows? I'll be 67 years old in just a very short time, maybe 30 days or less. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, stock up on your cold meds and tissues. All right, bye.